put the USS Lexington aside for the month of February. Uh, we're going to work on the uh, Black Beauty. It's uh, that time of the month to start uh, our uh, small scale group build. And uh, I think it'll be fun. I've already started working on the body. Um, I'll show you the pieces parts real quick. There's not a whole lot to this kit. This kit was put out by Aurora back in uh, 66. And um, I used to really love this kit. I built it a lot of times as a kid because we used the body for slot racing. In my day, a 132nd slot racing was pretty big and a lot of guys uh, were using this body and <coughs> the Aurora uh, Batmobile in 132nd using that body for slot car racing. So it was a pretty popular kit uh, in the day and uh, same with the Batmobile and uh, yeah uh, a lot of good memories tied to both kits. So I'll show you the pieces parts real quick. It's a curb kit, uh, no big deal, a typical curb chassis here. Um, where everything's molded in and a ton of writing on it. You know, Polar Lights used to love to write on everything so uh, we'll have to remove all that on the uh, part that shows inside I don't care about but we'll have to get rid of all that. Uh, we have our vinyl tires uh, which I think Polar Lights changed because unless I'm thinking of the Batmobile I remember these tires being plastic but these are vinyl so that's kind of spiffy there. So we've got vinyl tires, we've got our clear pieces parts, clear glass, and this kit's going to have an issue with the windshield, I already know that, it always did, but we'll get it to fit in there the best as we can. Uh, round 2 fixed that problem by the way, but this issue I have uh, still has that problem. Uh, we got the interior bucket, which is the uh, interior bucket. We've got uh, the rocket pods here, uh, grill and headlights, uh, the doors for the rocket doors for the front, which we might uh, glue in the closed position. I don't need both front and rear opened up. And the back ones, uh, I think, already come molded open. So we'll keep the back ones open, but the front ones I'm thinking about closing. Uh, steering wheel up here. And then uh, we got the... Uh, wheels, which uh, Lights did a decent job with the wheels. Uh, these were uh, 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 wheels made by Appliance. You heard me mention them before. And then uh, these particular wheels were the Appliance uh, Apache uh, wheels that Dean used on the original Black Beauty. And Dean uh, painted them. He changed the paint a little bit on the wheels and uh, gave them that uh, pretty cool look and we'll try to do the same thing that Dean did with these paint them up just like the real uh, patchy wheels that he did so it'll be a bit tricky but we'll give it our best shot uh, we've got uh, the rear window which fell off the tree that goes in from uh, underneath the car so there is the win uh, rear uh, window and then uh, we have the divider here where the Hornet had all his spiffy uh, buttons and, and gauges and, and uh, toggle switches and everything else. Top of the dashboard, rear bumper with the doors already open. And then here is the dashboard and, and uh, that's nothing right about. There's no details on it whatsoever. It's just a, a dashboard. So we'll try to paint it to where it looks like it has detailing on it. But uh, as you can see there's nothing there. And uh, that's really all there is to the kit. Not a whole lot. Still pretty cool kit in my book, though. So. Uh, it's the only kit I know in plastic, anyway. Is this one. Uh, there was a resin kit made by Lunar Models. That if you find one, you'll pay. The last one I've seen on eBay went for about $700. Uh, so, yeah, uh, good luck trying to get one of them. But uh, that one was a 125th scale Black Beauty and resin. Uh, looked like a nice kit. I never could afford it, so I never got it. Uh, your typical fold-out instructions that Roy used to use with the picture of the assembled model, which is kind of spiffy. 
can see that. Uh, so that's uh, that's that, and then another picture of it uh, on, on the oop, on the back with the other lights, polar lights uh, kits that were out at the time. And uh, that's it. So what we've got done with the body is uh, it's in primer. I put a light coat of primer on it to see the trouble areas. Uh, and there were a few uh, trouble spots on this body. Uh, we had two great big dimples back here. And I think it was from the uh, machine uh, that uh, pushed the arms, that pushed the uh, body out of the mold. Because they were two perfect dimples back here, but we got them filled. We've got uh, a real heavy mold line back here on the rear pillar removed. And there were some mold lines coming down top of the door all the way uh, to the front fender that we got rid of. And then um, the uh, hood, uh, uh, we had to rescribe the hood here because Aurora, uh, God bless her little hearts, when they scribed the line for the hood opening, they must have did that first and then put the hood line on because it went over the scribed mark. So there's a real card. You have a tricky time trying to get the hood open. So I went and scribed uh, through that hood line and got it looking a little bit more correct. And then uh, the, the hood, the top, and the trunk were kind of wavy. Had a wavy look to them. And I didn't know if that would show up and it was painted or not. So I sanded them down and try to kind of get them straightened out and smoothed out a bit so they don't have a wavy look at least it doesn't show up in a primer yet so I think it should be okay and then uh, I got a couple more areas I need to address with the body but it's almost there I think uh, I got a little bit of flash right here I need to get rid of I just left it on there for now but uh, I want to get rid of all the mold lines and that waviness in the body and fill in these dimples here and then open up the tail lights and uh, uh, yeah so we got all that done and then uh, we'll probably use SMDs for the tail lights and we'll either use uh, testers window maker to put the lens back in or we'll use the uh, micro uh, crystal clear and put uh, tail lights back in there and then that'll be all pretty cool and then I think I mentioned it didn't I I can't remember if I mentioned it or not now or not but we we'll have to modify the headlights with this kit because it just has the single headlights and I want the dual headlights that usually the Black Beauty ran the infra green they called it the special Hornet light I can't find them right now. Here they are right here. So we need to try to uh, change these and make it dual headlights. So it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Famous last words. But I don't think it'll be uh, too bad. So, um, yeah, this is where I'm at. And... Um, once we get the body done, we'll work on the chassis and get all that writing taken off and start working on this chassis, kind of detail it out. Maybe do something with the tailpipes. They have them, they have some shorties on here where they don't go past the gas tank. I kind of like to have them past the gas tank if it's possible. Kind of sticking out of the, from underneath the bumper a little bit. I think that would make it look a lot better. So we'll try to come up with something here because as, as a shows you everything's molded in but we'll try to come up with something okay uh, I think that's it take care and we will see you on our next update on the uh, Green Hornet Black Beauty